Alrighty, good day and welcome. My name is Mr. Bent and today we are going to be going through another Photopea tutorial. Today we're going to be using the clone stamp tool and understanding how to utilize it and where we can kind of use this tool in our work and throughout Photopea uh, and all of our projects and stuff going forward or just for your own knowledge so that way you know how this tool works and how you can use it. It is kind of similar to our spot healing brush in some ways in where we are doing some pixel manipulation and replacing. Well, we're going to walk through that and we're going to get that started right now. So first thing you want to do is you want to drop your image in. As you can see, I have dropped my image in already. I started off with that and that image will be linked down below. So that way you have access to that if you wish to have a copy of this image to follow along with. Now we are going to press Control J to create a new layer and we're just going to call it the OG. So that way we don't mess that up. That's not a layer we're going to play with. We're not messing around with the original layer. We're going to lock it and we're going to turn it off so that way we don't mess with that and alter it at any point. Next, we are going to select our background layer itself. And now is when we are going to start manipulating and starting to adjust and do all the things we need to do. So we're going to go to the left hand side of our screen and it is underneath the brush tool. You will see the clone stamp. It is also the quick button S and all is totally cool if you want to just press S instead. Now when you selected it, you can see I've got a super, super small brush. Uh, you can see that circle that's kind of there bouncing around. That is the size of the brush when it starts. You can adjust that. You can go and you can make that larger, smaller, whatever you want. I'm going to stick around 55 for what I need. I think that's going to work good because we do have a big surface area to deal with for when we're doing these adjustments. So I'm going to close that menu. And to use this, to use this stamp, we're going to go over to a section and we're basically taking a, that section of pixels that is within that circle and we're moving it over. So we are going to go over somewhere on this fence that doesn't have this tree because we want to remove that and we're going to press alt. When we press alt and then alt and then click, you will end up seeing that now I've gotten exactly where that left off. Pretty neat. That's exactly what it was. So now I can end up taking these pixels somewhere else and placing them along this fence. Now, sometimes this works really well. Sometimes you'll have to go and you have to go and start grabbing some different areas. So you might have to grab a lower spot or a higher spot, or you might have to grab from a different side. And since this fence is so different and there's all these different knots, you don't want to, for example, Alt, click, and every single one of these has the same knots everywhere. So that's not what you want to end up doing because it kind of, you can tell that that's starting to look pretty repetitive and it's looking pretty fake. So you want to make sure that you're kind of mixing up where you're grabbing some stuff and placing it through your fence. I'm just going to control Z to undo those things. Another way that we can utilize this tool is same idea. We're just going to grab a spot. Let's say we're going to grab over here. You can click and hold. So I'm going to select right here. This is where I'm going to start placing it. You want to try and think about having it on the same plane. So what I mean by that is on the same horizontal line. So if I click here and I start dragging this around, you'll see to the right, I now end up having that little plus. That is where I'm grabbing that information from. So that is what I am replacing this with. So as you can see, I've gotten too close to the top to this section and I've actually started inputting it lower. So that's something to keep in mind when you're messing around with this. That's another option for this tool. You can replace large sections at once and just kind of keep sweeping over and over and over, but it will take the inf original information. So if I go and I grab from here and I start replacing it here and I slowly start going over, the tree will come back. So where that tree used to be was about here. And when I've gotten here, that's about where that plus sign is. So now that's starting to replace those sections. So you kind of have to go in and readjust and do those things. Now this can take a while, especially when you've got something that's meant to not be perfect, uh, similar to our wood. And with all those knots, we don't want to make it look super repetitive. So that way every piece of wood is the exact same because it's not, and it won't look that way. So some of these things might take some time to go through but you are able to use this tool to ultimately remove everything and make this look legit. 
So I'm going to go through a little bit of a time lapse to show you how I do this. It'll go fairly quick. So that way you can see me grabbing all these sections and actually replacing this as I'm going through. Alrighty, so as you can see, I have created my fence. So it took a little bit of time to remove that tree, but as you can see, that tree is now gone. So it's not perfect by any means. There's still some errors. There's still some spots. I can see as I'm sitting here looking at it, I've kind of messed up over here. There's a couple little spots that are a little funky over here. My sky could have been done a little bit better. Just, it does, it's not perfect. But if you want to spend the time and you want to put a whole bunch of time into Creating that if that's what you need for your effect, then this tool is perfect for that. And this is kind of similar to our spot healing brush that we used before, but more we are doing the manual pixel selection as we're going through. Now, if you wanted to, let's say, grab a person, you could do the same thing. Let's say we had a person standing here. You could just start with that clone stamp tool and clone a spot on them, drag it over and start basically pasting that person in, basically stamping that person in. It would end up grabbing all of the pixels around them as well so you might have to do a little bit of work to remove those zooming in really close adjusting the size of your brush to make it as good as it can be but that is an option for what this tool is capable of as always thank you so much for watching i hope that you enjoyed and i hope that you learned something through this tutorial as always have a wonderful day take care and be safe